is video 6 in our 6 network packet tracer lab series and in this video we will be configuring our VPN GRE over IP as IPsec isn't supported in packet tracer we'll be just be using our same ISP cloud configuration that we used in video 3 if you already have a ISP cloud configured you can just go to the top you can just edit, copy and then paste and then drag it down. The only things that I've added are our two networks. This is our 200.11.1.0 The default gateways are as on the screen. The two PCs are both .50 Our uh, VPN IP interfaces we'll be configuring are 196.155.42.1 and opposing the other side will be 196.155.42.1 we'll Freeze the video now I'll let you catch up thus far with the rest of the configuration. The rotors are un the switches are unconfigured. If you press play when you're ready to continue. Okay, welcome back. The first thing we're going to do is just open up router one. Now the only thing else I've done to router one is I've just renamed it to VPN one and I've done the same with router two VPN two. The rest of the configuration is the same as in our ISP cloud. Enable conf t int ton1. You can see that immediately brings our state to up when you hit enter. Our IP address as just discussed 196 dot one five five dot forty two dot one we'll be giving it a thirty subnet mask two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five two and the tunnel source as configured with the ISP cloud from routers one to router two it will be serial zero 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 dot one oh two and the tunnel destination that will be the entry interface to our second network and that's one sixty dot thirty dot one two that will be on the opposing end of the serial 000.102 interface 160.30.1.2 no need to give it a subnet mask all we do now is just enter our tunnel mode as we know, GRE IP. And that's the first part of the tunnel and route of one configured. So we just exit out of the sub interface configuration for the tunnel. We won't do a copy run start as we still have to configure our IP routes. We just do open up router 2 as you can see I just renamed it to VPN R2 or VPN 2 in turn 1 IP address 
as on the screen 196 155.42.2 and the 255.255.252 Tunnel source that will be the opposing end of our tunnel source for Router 1 Zero 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 dot two at one. Then the tunnel destination will be the entry sub interface for network one. 160.30.1.1 Tunnel mode GREIP Let's do an exit Now we just go back to router 1 and configure our IP routes The first part we want to enter is the network of our target router, so that's 200.22.22.0 and its subsequent subnet mask, which is say 24, 255.255.255.0, and that will be via the tunnel interface IP we configured route on router 2 196.155.42.2 now we just want to do the same with router 2 IP route network of the target PC 200.11.11.0 via 196.155.42.2 That's the configuration completed. Now the first thing we're going to do to test is to just open up the desktops on PC2, copy the IP address, go back to PC1, the command prompt, try ping, Applies. Now we're just going to try the same with our PC2 to PC1. Get a quick reply this time. We just try some packets. Successful. Successful.
If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. This is Roger's Classes.